Hello everyone and welcome to That's The Point. Right here we dive into the expansive and inviting pool that is construction positioning technology. My name is Corey Meyer, joined today by my fellow traveler, Jonathan Stickle. What's up, man? Doing well. Glad to be here. All right, so today we're heading back into Trimble Connect, but we are going to pull back a little bit and cover a basic topic that is actually commonly asked. Yeah, that's right. Today we're going to talk about creating a project in Trimble Connect with a specific with the specific goal of sharing field link data easily and efficiently from the office to the field. Yeah, and that question does make sense, right? Because how often do we have data that originates in the office? We need to get it out of the field, whether it's an update to an existing project or an entirely new project. And so there's really two ways to do that. This is the first of two videos we're gonna do on that. Today, we're just gonna use just basic old Trimble Connect on a PC. Um, we're gonna show you how to create a project that's ready for field link. Um, or in our follow-up video, we're also gonna do it using Fieldlink Office, which kind of a spoiler, that's a much easier way to do it. Yeah, so today we're gonna create a project in the office or on a traditional laptop within Trimble Connect. Yep. And then we'll sync it up to the tablet right here and be ready to lay out points. Yeah, exactly. So the first thing we have to do on the office side is log into Trimble Connect. We do have some videos for that, specifically covering the initial steps of getting a Trimble ID and a, and a Connect account and all that. We'll link those down below. But Jonathan, so you've taken that step, you're logged in, and uh, we're ready to create a field link ready project. Okay, so we're inside of Connect, and to um, start a project, we'll go up to New. We'll give our project a name. I always love these really descriptive names. And then you want to make sure you're um, selected the right server, and then Submit. All right, so that'll go ahead and create us our project. And now what you're going to want to do is we want to start creating some folders, right? Because the field link is looking for a specific folder structure. So what we're going to first do is we're going to create at the very high, at the root level of this project, we're going to create one folder that's called points. And so we got to create a subfolder now inside of this for your points data. So he's going to create layout job one. Um, that's the fold, folder name that, that field link likes by default. Um, and so, and then inside of that folder, we're then going to place um, the, the points file or the CSV file that we want to use for our layout. So he's going to drop the CSV file in. There we go. Now we want to go back up to the very top. So we're going to go back up to the, to the top level of the project. We're going to create one more folder called models. So he's going to create a folder, calling it models. And now just in this, we don't have to have a subfolder here, but he's just going to drop his geometry or his drawing file that he has for background. So we're just going to upload a DWG here. And wham, and there we've got, so now we've got the structure. So as you can see on the screen, it's so important for this kind of like field link workflow. If you don't have field link office, what you wanna do is you wanna have the root level project, you wanna have a points folder, and you wanna have a models folder. And within that points folder then, you're also gonna have a subfolder for each of the layout jobs that you wanna do, whether you're breaking up by floor, uh, by deck, by area, however you wanna break those up, each of those would be a subfolder. Uh, yeah. But now, and then the last thing you gotta do is you gotta, you gotta share it, right? Yeah, and to share a project in Trimble Connect is very easy. You just come down here to team, invite people to the project, and then type in the email address where you'd like to send it to. Send it to Daniel here in our office. Yeah, I might have stolen his tablet today. And he'll invite it, and then we go through the magic of the cloud. That has then been shared. And so now we can come over to the tablet side of things. And so we're going to bring that in. So we're going to go to more and we're going to projects, manage. And uh, we're going to click on the little cloud icon. Again, we're connected to the internet. It's going to look where it is. And look, there's your project that you just created, TTP Connect. We're going to tap on that. We're going to say open. That's going to download all of those files um, from that Connect project in. Um, so it's telling us we need to, to create a points or scan file, which is fine. Um, we do need to do that. So we're going to tap on the little create points file, layout job one, look at that. We're going to tap OK. And if we scroll down here before we hit open, we could see that it's already noticed that there is a DWG file there. So we've created the points file. We have no points loaded yet. But we already have our geometry. We're just going to click open on that. And it's going to open up the file. And we can even sit here, can open up the model, and load that in right now. Kind of show us we're on the right track. And there we go. So we do have our geometry loaded in. So now the last thing we have to do is make sure that we've got our points loaded in. So we're going to go to more, project, and import. And we're going to import from the cloud. And we're going to bring this in. And we're going to go to points, layout job one. And there is our points file. We'll just click that and we'll select it. Bring them in as layer zero or whatever you would typically do in your workflow. And our points file is now imported. And we can go back turn on our points, 
and we can see there they are. So as you can see, we got our points layouts here. They're all synced up. It's kind of seamless, like right there in FieldLink. It's crazy. So by following these simple conventions, creating and sharing projects from the office to remote field users, with just using Connect and FieldLink, no FieldLink office or anything like that, is relatively simple and straightforward. Yeah, and of course, if you have any questions or if you need any help getting up and running, your Building Point representatives are here to help. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.